let's pay attention to this booklet. I got it from one of my followers on YouTube and it is of Brazil. And of course uh, uh, it's completely new to me and I'm sh sure that it, this is say a product of the 1970s. I'm absolutely sure, more or less absolutely sure. But anyway, uh, it shows say uh, uh, interesting things. And that's what this is all about. Of course, say uh, the joy of these two guys uh, working with electronics. That's of course one of the important things to make people enthusiastic for electronics. And in the past we had in the Netherlands where I live also uh, say <coughs> the Philips kits and all the Philips um, uh, boxes uh, ways which you could make all kind, kinds of electronic circuits. Anyway, uh, this is Brazil. Uh, the language, I'm, uh, I, I don't know anything of that language, but anyway, I want to pay attention to some very, very interesting things that I saw. Uh, at first, this is, of course, a beginner's book. You see, say, the typical uh, beginner's things that you need to know when you want to work with elect electronics, simple electronics, anyway. Uh, now it's, uh, uh, electronics is more or less, say, um, a consumer thing, but of course, um, when you want to do experiments, this is always very interesting to know about all the components. For instance, here a photosensitive resistor in that book, very interesting. Um, a tuning capacitor, also very interesting here. But, uh, and of course here coils bobinas, coils, radio coils, uh, say this is a smoothing coil and this is a typical antenna coil uh, to receive ra certain radio stations. Anyway, uh, well, and here we see of course all kinds of transistors with their indications, base, emitter, collector, uh, the pin connections and this is typical a, a booklet of the 19, uh, 1970s or perhaps 1965. Anyway, I want to say skip very very quickly over it all. And the most important thing that um, uh, that I wanted to show is the way that in this booklet of Brazil they showed how to make circuits. Well, that's what I wanted to tell. Uh, here, say you you have here in a certain way uh, mimicked the elect, um, electronic schematic, for instance here a transistor, the collector, the base, the emitter, and here etc etc. And it was made with say, uh, not with brass nails, but say uh, pins here. And I think uh, that is a very good way to learn about electronics. In fact, what they are doing here in this 1960s document of Brazil, uh, uh, you see that they mimic the schematic, and that is 
when you want to learn something about electronics, the very, very best way. So, uh, use here, for instance, uh, brass nails, solder the components in uh, according to the uh, schematic, and you can say in a certain way make a completely uh, exact same way when you uh, compare the schematic to the circuit that you have made. This is quite vague here. I cannot say. Uh, I can zoom in somewhat, perhaps, um, but it will not help. Yeah. But say, I think the the point is clear. This is say a kind of good way when you are a beginner in electronics to make circuits. Uh, on a piece of well varnished wood or etc etc. So let's look to some other schematics out of this beautiful book of Brazil. So here we have in fact the same situation. The circuit is copied out of the um, drawn schematic directly into a situation where you see exactly how all the uh, connections are made. I think that was more or less all to tell. I cannot uh, say, uh, give more information, um, because I also don't have the schematics here. Uh, but say, this is, say, the, the, uh, the essence of this video. Uh, when you want to make an electronic schematic, it's a good way to exactly copy such a circuit on a wooden board with brass nails or whatever. And uh, that's, that gives also the best guarantee that your circuit will work or will not work when of course there are mistakes here or there are, that's also possible, mistakes in the <coughs> drawn schematic, say in the print. So copy the print to the board and then you can see and it's also very easy to um, find out faults in the uh, schematic and it's very easy of course to say change a resistor, change a capacitor to make a circuit work, etc. Uh, that was more or less all. Uh, I see suddenly that something pops up. Uh, I did not want to pop that up. So anyway, what's more interesting to show? Here for instance a radio circuit. Also say the same principle. Well, I've talked uh, a lot about it and that was all. Thanks for watching. It shows, say, a good way to make uh, experimental radio circuits or other electronic circuits and say it's a good way to learn and to adapt electronic circuits and see what's happening in such a circuit. And of course in that case you can use an oscilloscope. Thanks for watching.